Now at six tonight, questions swirl around the release of documents connected to the Jeffrey Epstein sex trafficking ring. Hundreds of previously sealed documents were released last night containing new references to powerful men who knew and socialized with Epstein. But there are no new burning revelations and legal experts tell us there will likely be no new arrests. Our investigative reporter Terry Parker is digging into what happens next. And Tara, you talked exclusively to Epstein's brother, Mark Epstein. I did. I have interviewed Mark Epstein, Epstein several times over the years. He says he's not surprised the documents don't contain any bombshells, but he's also convinced his brother Jeffrey Epstein was murdered in jail to keep him quiet about what everyone was hoping would come out in these documents, the so-called client list. From former presidents Bill Clinton and Donald Trump to Prince Andrew, the singer Michael Jackson and magician David Copperfield, Jeffrey Epstein victims recounted in sworn depositions about the many powerful and famous men they met in Jeffrey Epstein's orbit. But the list of names released means little to Jeffrey Epstein's brother, Mark. I don't know what to make out of these documents. I don't know how these lists were compiled. And I have nothing to do with that. You know, that's not my business. What I'm concerned about is my brother's murder. Mark Epstein tells me none of the evidence surrounding Jeffrey Epstein's death in jail points to suicide. And he accuses former U.S. Attorney General Bill Barr of coming to that conclusion without proper investigation. Yes, it's a cover-up. So the question then becomes, if it's a cover-up, I don't think Bill Barr killed my brother. So then who is he covering up for? That becomes the question, and that's what he should be asked. While Mark Epstein continues to try and get answers, others wonder if these latest unsealed details will lead to anyone's prosecution. I don't see anything we've seen so far that would lead to criminal charges. Palm Beach County State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg says he doesn't see anything in the documents that would lead to criminal charges. One reason, much of the allegations are hearsay, something one person like Epstein or Ghislaine Maxwell repeated to others. And there is still a non-prosecution agreement in Florida stemming from Epstein's conviction in 2008, which said no co-conspirators could be charged. But look, this is the kind of thing we'll live on in infamy for years to come. It's salacious, it's ugly, and I, I think ultimately transparency is, is good. It's better than the opposite, which would be secrecy. I've reached out to former U.S. Attorney Bill Barr for comment, but haven't heard back. We may still, though, get some more information from the documents, as two of the Jane Doe's in this lawsuit are still shielded until the judge rules if they should be made public as well. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.